Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to tell you about our sponsor, Factor. Factor is a meal service that takes the hassle out of meal prep and planning. Factor's no-hassle prepared meals are designed by dietitians for maximum nutrition and flavor. Unlike other meal services, Factor cooks your meals ahead of time so it arrives ready to heat and eat within minutes. This helps you avoid all of the prep work and cleanup that comes with traditional cooking. But this isn't just some fast food or TV dinner style service. These meals offer fresh, never frozen ingredients across a variety of preferences. They offer traditional meals as well as keto, calorie smart, vegetarian, and vegan. There are over 25 meal options each week so you'll never get tired of the meals delivered to your door. Personally, the best thing about Factor to me is that it offers convenient nutrition. Nowadays, the only quick options are either unhealthy fast food or overprocessed, stale tasting frozen dinners. Factor's meals always ensure you have something nutritious and delicious on hand. It saves time for prep, cooking, and cleanup. It gives you time back to focus on the things you love to do. So give Factor a try today. Use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use the code POGPOWERMTG60 for $60 off of your first box. Thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video. When you give them a try, you help support us to continue offering you all great content, like tonight's game, so thanks. Mike and Cal are back battling against our Mox Pearl patrons. They finally decided to play something different after six long months, so let's see how they do tonight. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Jordan piloting Atla Palani, Nest Tender. This is a creature heavy deck that uses Mirror Entity and Atla in order to combo off and win. Jordan's opening hand contains a Horizon Canopy, Spire Garden, Wild Growth, Esper Sentinel, Mother of Runes, Goblin Matron, and an Eldritch Evolution. Next, we have Philip pounding Abdel Adrian Gorian's Ward with Candlekeep Sage as the background. This is a mid range value list that looks to abuse blink effects in conjunction with Displacer Kitten. Philip's opening hand contains a Displacer Kitten, Whirlwind Denial, Ledger Shredder, Path to Exile, Archivist of Ogma, an offer you can't refuse, and a Flooded Strand. After that, we have Mike, pounding the partner pair of Eleven the Mage and Chief Jim Hopper. This is a mid-range Ad Nauseam list that plays a lot like Blue Farm. It wins through a Time Sieve combo. Mike's opening hand contains a Mana Crypt, Plateau, Mox Diamond, Dockside Extortionist, Deflecting Swat, Fire Covenant, and an Esper Sentinel. Finally, we have Cal, pounding Shorakai Genesis Engine. This is a stacks and control list that attempts to lock down the board with Humility and Polymorph into a game-winning board state. Cal's opening hand contains an Arcane Signet, Cyclonic Rift, Force of Will, Inventor's Fair, Fabricate, Soul Ring, and a Proteus Staff. Without further ado, let's kick off this unending, unnerving, unbelievable, unnecessary undulation. Cal won the Italian Spelling Bee and gets to start us off. Cal draws a card for turn and plays an Inventor's Fair. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts an Arcane Signet. Cal passes. Mike draws a card for turn and pays two life to cast a taxi and probe, targeting Cal. He looks at Cal's hand and draws a card. He plays a Tundra for turn. He casts Mox Diamond, discarding Plateau. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts an Esper Sentinel. He passes. Philip draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He passes. Jordan draws and plays a Horizon Canopy. He taps it to help cast an Esper Sentinel of his own. Jordan ends his turn. Cal draws and casts Fabricate. Both Sentinels trigger, Cal pays for Jordan's, and Mike draws. Fabricate resolves and Cal fetches up a Chrome Mox into his hand. He casts Chrome Mox and printing Chain of Vapor. Cal gives the turn to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters and Mike creates 4 treasures. Mike casts Smothering Tithe. Esper triggers and Mike pays. In response, Philip cracks his Flooded Strand, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts an offer you can't refuse. Both Sentinels trigger and Mike and Jordan draw. Tithe is countered and Mike creates 2 treasures. Next, Mike casts Dark Ritual, adding 3 black. He casts his commander, Chief Jim Hopper. Finished up, Mike sends the turn over to Philip. Philip draws and casts Preordain. Both Sentinels trigger and Mike and Jordan draw. Then Philip scries two and draws a card. He misses his land drop, sighs, and passes the turn. Jordan draws and plays a Spire Garden. He taps his canopy to cast Wild Growth. Sentinel triggers and Mike draws. He moves to combat and attacks Philip with Sentinel. Philip takes it and Jordan ships the turn to Cal. During his upkeep, Cal gains a life from his Inventor's Fair. He draws and casts his commander, Shorakai, Genesis Engine. Both Esper's trigger and Jordan and Mike draw. Cal activates Shorakai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. He plays a Hallowed Fountain into play untapped, paying two life. All through, Cal ends his turn. During his upkeep, Mike wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Blood Crypt into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Rhystic Study. Esper triggers and Jordan draws. Mike moves to combat and attacks Philip with Sentinel and Cal with Hopper. Hopper triggers and Mike investigates twice, creating two clues. Both take it and Mike passes to Philip. Philip draws, takes no actions, and passes, discarding to hand size. Jordan draws and casts Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Esper Sentinel as an additional cost. Rhystic and Esper trigger, and Mike draws two cards. 
It resolves, and he fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the battlefield. It enters, and Jordan creates 10 treasures. Next, Jordan casts Finale of Devastation, where X equals 3, paying the Rhystic Tax. In response, Cal casts Force of Will, paying a life, exiling a blue card, targeting Finale, paying the Rhystic Tax. Esper triggers, and Mike draws. In response, Jordan casts Autumn's Veil, exiling Elvish Spirit Guide to pay the Rhystic Tax. Veil resolves, then Force resolves, but doesn't counter Finale, and Finale resolves. Jordan fetches up a Cunning Spark Mage onto the battlefield. Next, Jordan casts Mother of Runes, Rhystic triggers, and Mike draws. With nothing else, Jordan passes to Cal. During his upkeep, Cal gains a life through his Inventor's Fair. He draws and plays a Prismatic Vista. He casts Proteus Staff. Rhystic and Esper trigger, and Mike draws too. Cal cracks his Vista, pays a life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. He activates Proteus Staff, targeting his pilot. In response, Jordan taps his Cunning Spark Mage, dealing a damage to Cal's pilot, killing it. Then Proteus Staff's ability fizzles. Next, Cal activates Shorkai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. Finished up, Cal gives the turn to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and casts Mox Opal. He casts Silence. In response, Jordan flashes in and Aven Mind Sensor. Rhystic triggers and Mike draws. In response, Mike casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card, countering Aven Mind Sensor. Then Silence resolves, locking out his opponents this turn. Mike plays a Flooded Strand for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts Underworld Breach. He escapes Dark Ritual, adding three black. He casts Windfall. Each player discards their hand and draws seven. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He escapes Dark Ritual, adding three more black. He pays two life to help escape Jataxian Probe, targeting Cal. He looks at Cal's hand and draws a card. He casts Brain Freeze, with all copies targeting himself. Mike mills 33 cards. Mike casts Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He pays two life to escape Jataxian Probe again, looking at Jordan's hand and drawing a card. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond. He cracks it, discards his hand, and adds three blue. He escapes Brain Freeze, milling more of his library. He repeats the Lion's Eye Diamond and Brain Freeze loop until he mills his entire library. Mike escapes Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters, and Mike wins the game. Well, that was a super fun and super fast game. The team decided to go again. Jordan brings back Atla Palani, Nest Tender, and his opening hand contains Averdant Catacombs, Elvish Harbinger, Tybalt's Trickery, Tenderwall, Taiga, Gaius Cradle, and his London Mulligan is an Eternal Witness. Philip brings back Abdel Adrian and Candlekeep Sage, and his opening hand contains a Tundra, Mystic Remora, Spell Pierce, Preordain, Lotus Petal, Azorius Signet, and a Dressdown. Mike brings back Eleven the Mage and Chief Jim Hopper, and his opening hand contains a Command Tower, Luxury Suite, Bloodstained Mire, Jeweled Lotus, Cyclonic Rift, Deadly Rollick, and a Vampire Tutor. Cal brings back Shorkai Genesis Engine, and his opening hand contains an Island, Plains, Swords to Plowshares, Scalding Tarn, Preordain, Soul Ring, and his London Mulligan is a dramatic reversal. And Jordan gets to start us off. Jordan draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Stomping Ground onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. He casts a Tender Wall and passes the turn. Philip draws and plays a Tundra. He casts Mystic Remora. In response, Jordan sacrifices his Tender Wall, adding two red. He casts Tybalt's Trickery. Trickery counters Remora, Philip mills one, and then exiles until he reveals a Ranger Captain of Eos, casting it. It enters, and Philip fetches up an Esper Sentinel into his hand. Philip casts Lotus Petal. He casts Esper Sentinel. The table wonders if this is better than a Mystic Remora or not, and Philip gives the turn to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Jewel Lotus, and Philip draws through Esper. Mike cracks his Lotus to cast his commander, Chief Jim Hopper. Next, Mike casts Deadly Rollick for its alternate cost, exiling Esper Sentinel. The table breathes a sigh of relief, and Mike ships the turn to Cal. Cal draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Soul Ring. Cal passes. Jordan draws and plays an Arid Mesa. He casts a Carpet of Flowers. Jordan sends it over to Philip. Philip draws and plays an Island. He casts a Felwar Stone. He casts Preordain, scrying two, and drawing a card. He pays two life to cast a Taxian Probe, targeting Cal. He looks at Cal's hand and draws a card. Philip passes. Mike draws and plays a Luxury Suite. He moves to combat, attacking Cal with Hopper. Hopper triggers and Mike investigates, creating a clue. Cal takes it and Mike ends his turn. Cal draws and plays a Plains. He casts his Commander, Shorkai, Genesis Engine. Cal passes. Jordan draws and in his first main phase he adds two green through his Carpet of Flowers. He cracks his Arid Mesa, pays a life, and fetches up a Savannah onto the battlefield. He casts his Commander, Atla Palani, Nest Tender. He plays a Temple Garden into play tapped. Jordan ships the turn. Philip draws and plays a Plains. He casts a Zoria's Signet. He casts his background, Candle Keeps Age. Philip passes. At the end of Philip's turn, Mike casts Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Mike draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters and Mike creates six treasures. He attacks Cal with Hopper. 
Hopper triggers and Mike investigates. Cal takes it and in his second main phase, Mike casts his other commander, Eleven the Mage. Mike gives the turn to Cal. Cal draws and plays an island. He casts Preordained, scrying two and drawing a card. Cal gives the turn to Jordan. Jordan draws and plays a Taiga. He passes. Philip draws and casts his commander, Abdel Adrian, Gorian's Ward. Candlekeep triggers and Philip draws. Abdel enters and Philip exiles his Signet and Felwar Stone, creating two soldiers. He plays an island and gives the turn to Mike. Mike draws and moves to combat. He attacks Cal with Eleven, Dockside, and Hopper. Hopper triggers and Mike investigates three times. Eleven triggers and Mike draws and loses a life. In response, Cal activates Shorkai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. He blocks Eleven with his pilot and takes the rest. In his second main phase, Mike plays a polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts Grand Abolisher. In response, Cal casts Force of Will, paying a life and exiling a blue card. In response, Mike casts Deflecting Swat for its alternate cost, targeting Force of Will. Swat resolves and redirects Force of Will to Deflecting Swat itself. Then Force fizzles and Abolisher resolves. Finished up, Mike passes to Cal. Cal draws and plays an Urza Saga, getting its first counter. He casts Fabricate, fetching up a Skull Clamp into his hand. He casts Skull Clamp. Cal ends his turn. At the end of Cal's turn, Jordan activates Atla Palani, creating an egg. Jordan draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He passes. At the end of Jordan's turn, Philip casts Mystical Tutor, fetching up an Ephemerate onto the top of his library. Philip draws and casts a Mana Vault. He moves to combat, attacking Mike with Abdel and Ranger Captain. Mike takes it, and then Philip passes to Mike. At the end of Philip's turn, Mike cracks a clue. In response, Jordan cracks his Windswept Teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a Plateau onto the battlefield. Still in response, Cal casts Swords to Plowshares, exiling Grand Abolisher, with Mike gaining two life. Then Mike draws a card, and the turn moves to Mike. Mike draws and plays a Badlands. He casts Time Twister. In response, Philip flashes in a Dress Down. He holds priority and casts Ephemerate, targeting his Abdel Adrian. In response, Mike casts Cyclonic Rift, targeting Abdel. In response, Philip casts Whirlwind Denial. <laughs> Mike didn't see it coming, and Denial counters both Cyclonic Rift and Time Twister. Then Ephemerate resolves, exiles, and then flickers Abdel Adrian. Candlekeep triggers twice, and Philip draws two. Philip's rocks re enter, and he taps them for mana, then Abdel exiles Mana Vault and Azorius Signet. Then Philip creates two soldiers. Then Dressdown resolves, and Philip draws. Mike, with this major blowout, passes the turn. At the end of Mike's turn, Dressdown is sacrificed. Still in the end step, Cal activates Shorkai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. The turn moves to Cal. Cal draws, and in his first main phase, Urza Saga gets another counter. He plays a command tower for turn. He equips Skull Clamp to a pilot, killing it and drawing two cards. He activates Shorkai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. He equips Skull Clamp to his new pilot, killing it and drawing two more. Cal casts Out of Time. In response, Philip casts Spell Pierce. In response, Cal casts a Spell Pierce of his own. Pierce pierces Pierce, and Out of Time resolves. All creatures untap and phase out, and Out of Time gets 13 vanishing counters. Finished up, Cal gives the turn to Jordan. Jordan draws, and in his first main phase, he has three green through his carpet. He casts Elvish Harbinger. It enters, and Jordan fetches up a Reclamation Sage onto the top of his library. He plays a Gaia's Cradle. Jordan passes. During his upkeep, Philip's Ephemerate has no legal targets, so he is unable to cast it from exile. He draws, takes no actions, and passes. Mike draws and cracks a clue, drawing a card. He plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He casts Wishclaw Talisman. He activates Wishclaw, fetching up a card into his hand and giving Wishclaw to Jordan. Mike ends his turn. During his upkeep, Cal removes the Vanishing Counter from out of time. He draws, and in his first main phase, Urza Saga gets its final counter. Cal sacks it and fetches up a Mana Crypt onto the battlefield. He casts Mystic Remora. In response, Philip casts a Brainstorm, looking for an answer. In response, Mike flashes in a Notion Thief. Philip pleads with him not to do this because he's looking for an answer to Cal. Mike, blinded by value, says he can find his own answers. So in response to Notion Thief, Cal activates Shorakai, drawing two, discarding one, and creating a pilot. Then Notion Thief resolves, and Brainstorm resolves. Mike draws three, and Philip puts two cards back on top of his library. Next, Cal casts Merchant Scroll. In response, Jordan casts Court of Calling, where X equals three. Remora triggers, and Mike tells Cal that he should just let him draw cards in order to find answers to the other players. Cal, not being a total idiot, decides not to draw off of Remora. Then Court resolves, and Jordan fetches up an Aven Mind Sensor onto the battlefield. With Scroll still on the stack, Cal casts Cyclonic Rift, bouncing Aven back to Jordan's hand. Then Scroll finally resolves, and Cal fetches up a Dramatic Reversal into his hand. Cal casts a Grim Monolith. He casts an Arcane Signet. He floats mana and casts Dramatic Reversal, untapping his non-land permanents. Cal casts Polymorph, targeting his pilot. In response, Philip hard casts Force of Negation, countering and exiling Polymorph. 
Finally through, Cal passes. At the end of Cal's turn, Jordan pays two life to cast Noxious Revival, putting Court of Calling onto the top of his library. Jordan draws and activates Wishclaw, fetching up a card into his hand. He said he will give it to Philip only if he uses it to find an answer to Out of Time. Philip agrees and Jordan gives Wishclaw to Philip. Jordan passes. Philip draws and activates Wishclaw, fetching up a card into his hand and giving Wishclaw to Mike. He casts Oblivion Ring, targeting Out of Time. Out of Time is exiled and all creatures phase back in. Philip moves to combat and in response, Jordan convokes Card of Calling where X equals 3. Remore triggers and Jordan pays. With no answers, Cord resolves. Jordan fetches up a mirror entity onto the battlefield. Still in response to combat, Jordan casts Blossoming Defense targeting his Atla Palani. Remora triggers and Mike draws through Notion Thief. With no answers, Defense resolves. Atla gets plus two plus two and Hexproof until the end of turn. Jordan activates Mirror Entity where X equals zero. He holds priority and activates it hundreds of thousands of times where X equals zero each time. The first ability resolves, all creatures become all creature types, including egg, and become zero zero. The eggs die and Atla triggers. Jordan reveals until he finds a creature and puts it onto the battlefield. He presents a loop of killing his creatures and fetching up more creatures. This loop eventually reveals a vengeful devil or a cunning spark mage onto the battlefield. Jordan activates them, pinging an opponent for one before it dies. Jordan also reveals both Endurance and Loaming Shaman from his library, which lets him put his graveyard back into his library and repeat the process. He does this over and over, pinging his opponents until they are dead, and Jordan wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what an awesome set of games tonight. Congrats to Mike and Jordan on their wins. In game one, Mike was fed so many cards through his Esper and Rhystic. He was able to untap and win in short fashion. This is why you must respect these draw engines when they are on the battlefield. In game two, Jordan was able to politic his way to victory with Wishclaw. So many different players seemed poised to win at any point during the game. Jordan was able to get Philip to bring back his commander and win at instant speed. And that win was a sight to behold. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, please consider subscribing. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.